Hello! So today's video is gonna be my summer essentials kind of thing. I think I've got everything that I will talk about. Obviously I feel like I'd have, I've got more products that I use but I feel like these are the ones where I'm like, they're like staples, like you need need these. So we've kind of got a mix of, there's not too much makeup to be honest. Very little makeup actually. I've actually forgotten one thing. There's pretty much like one makeup -y product. It's mainly, there's a skincare, body care kind of thing, but it's a mix. We have some makeup sprinkled in here as well. So I'm just gonna be basically just sharing with you everything that I feel like, everything that I need anyway, like for summer and just little products where I'm like, yeah, I definitely need these. So yeah, these are my summer essentials. Grab your beverage as well. I've just got water, but I've literally just filmed. So I'm good for now. Okay, right, I'm gonna start off with skincare, I guess. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. So one thing that I definitely, definitely love, and to be fair, I love this, I guess, all year round. I've had this in my skincare routine for months, and I've kind of gone off using it, and then I've kind of gone back to it because I see the difference that this has on my skin when I don't use it. But this is, I mean, you don't have to obviously use this one, but I do recommend a vitamin C serum of some sort. This one is the Notarium one. Um, it's just a vitamin C serum. The reason why I wanted it in my summer essentials is because when you pair vitamin C with sunscreen, it actually makes your sunscreen more effective and I have to protect my skin. I'm autoimmune. It needs extra protection. Like I literally forgot the other day to put, did I, yeah, I literally forgot to put sunscreen on and we went to the beach. My skin's been, it didn't get like burnt or anything or like, I, I don't think I really burn to be honest. I think I'm quite lucky with my skin tone. I don't seem to burn, but since then i can feel my skin's been like tender on my face it's clearly like my barrier my skin barrier is clearly damaged from it so yeah we're very very sensitive out here so vitamin c i mean again i use sunscreen kind of all year round anyway so yeah vitamin c is definitely something that boosts that and i think it helps to use it especially in summer and also it just gives you a brighter like complexion overall this one's got um hyaluronic acid and vitamin e in it as well i really really like this one i would definitely get this one again um so yeah vitamin c serum of some sort so where i use this in the morning is i'll use my toner or I think you're supposed to use this actually dry, just on dry skin, I think, but I still use a toner because my skin's just very dry. So I'll do toner and then I'll put my vitamin C on, then I'll do, well, I'll have my eye cream as well, which is also a vitamin C one. I'll then do my moisturizer and then my sunscreen. And that's where I put it in my routine. Talking about sunscreens, I have two of my favorites. Well, I've tried a few. I don't, I wouldn't say I've tried a lot of different sunscre sunscreens, but I feel like I'm fine. Like I found my two that I really love now. So the first one is the Zit Sticker Mega Shade Sunscreen Serum. This one is UVA and UVB Broad Spectrum, Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And this one specifically, I really love this one. I love yellow, I love the packaging, but especially because this one is for sensitive and acne prone skin, I, we know, and I've just said it, like my skin is so sensitive. It is very sensitive with sunscreens, quite a lot of sunscreens that I've tried in the past to break me out. My skin doesn't agree with it. I get little bumps, I get spots. This one is specifically designed for acne prone skin or just if you have sensitive skin in general. I really love this. I've used, you can see about a quarter of it. I'll definitely get this again. It's on the pricier side. That's what the bottle looks like by the way. It is on the pricier side, but I think it's worth it. I really love this sunscreen. Also, if we want to do a white cast test, nothing. But, but my other half's used this as well and he's got a very deep complexion, so no white cast, nothing. Not a single trace. Um, so yeah, it's past that test, no white cast whatsoever. And then the other one that I really love, I have an affordable alternative, I guess, to this one. But this is the Super Goop Glow Screen. This is the SPF 30 one. I think they have a matte one as well. Don't really care for that. But if you have um, oily skin or you just prefer a matte look, they have another one, but I've never tried that one. But this is the glow screen specifically. This is a sunscreen and a primer as well. This one does have a slight tint to it as well. I've used this quite a few times. I love this. I love using this when I'm going to the beach because it's got a little bit of a tint. Um, so it just evens out my skin tone a little bit. It gives a really nice glow and it's your sunscreen all in one. So I really love this. I've been using this for a while. I can see I'm about up to here. Um, so yeah, really love this. Definitely recommend the Super Goop one. I do like the e.l.f. one. This is their Suntouchable Woe Glow SPF Primer. But I feel like I, pr I do prefer this one because this one is a bit funny with vitamin C, I've now noticed. 
I this does it's absolutely fine with most of my skincare it's just vitamin C that I see a bit of pilling vitamin C can be a bit funny with other skincares and makeup other skincares other skincare products and I this is one thing that I have noticed. It doesn't always agree with the vitamin C. Sometimes it's fine, it's weird. It's like a hit and miss kind of thing. So I do prefer this one, but I do also really like the e.l.f. one. So I feel like if you do want an alternative, I do think it's a very, very good dupe. It's the same in the sense that it gives, you know what, let me show you, let me, let me be helpful. I'll do side by side and you can see what they look like. I did not shake that. That needed to be shook. It just peed. You know when you don't shake the ketchup bottle? and you just get that like tomato ketchup pee. That's what I just got. You can see, so the one here, the lighter one, that's the e.l.f. one, and then this is the super goop one. So if I blend that out, you can see this one, it just, it's better for my skin tone, um, but the e.l.f. one, it just blends out and it doesn't leave a cast at all. It will still blend out completely, but you can still see that they both give a very, 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 very dewy glow. Moving on to body sunscreen. Um, I don't like anything sticky and I don't th like anything that smells like sunscreen and again don't want a white cast So for me, this is the favorite that I've tried so far. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration um, Sunscreen this one is SPF 30 and this one is very very moisturizing. I think there's aloe in here It smells like I don't know what it smells like. I think it smells like pineapple and maybe like shea butter I think it just, it smells so, so good. So me and my partner both use this one as well. So there's no white cast with this one either. And it's very, very hydrating. I've got dry skin, as you guys know. So I get on with this very well. No white cast. The only thing is staining, but I feel like that kind of goes for like any sunscreen. It's fine. It's a good sunscreen. It leaves a really nice glow on your skin as well. I really like this. And I think it's just the smell. The smell just gets me. I love it. Then for after you've been out in the sun, this is what I used last night. This is the Hawaiian Tropic After Sun Body Butter. This is the Lime Colada scent, I guess. That's what it looks like. I love the tub. I love the colour of it. And this, it literally smells like lime and pineapple. Oh, I love it. Like you can see, I've used almost half of it. I've had this for like over a year now. I feel like I definitely need to use this up this year. And After Sun. Don't sleep on after sun. I feel like a lot of people forget about this. So I'll use yesterday as an example. So I went to the beach yesterday, whole day, like literally from like 12-ish till like seven-ish, full day at the beach yesterday. This happened from that. We have life back in my skin now, as we can see. Got home, showered, didn't even need to use another body lotion because this hydrates my skin enough. And if you're someone that's a bit more sensitive with like sun damage, if you get if you actually get burnt, I feel like this is a good thing to use to avoid peeling or just any burns that you've got like developing. Mango and avocado oil, but I'm pretty sure it's got aloe vera in here as well. And it literally says intensively hydrating for 12 hour moisturization. My skin still feels moisturized and hydrated now. And um, yeah, I used this last night when we got back. Um, so yeah, I just slathered this all over. It is a body butter as well. So it's gonna be thicker than your normal like body lotion. Yeah, I love this. I really love this because I can just use it instead. And yeah, it smells really good as well. All right. Also with body butter, I've been into like my body care recently, like into it more. Like I like getting different scents and trying different ones out. This is expensive, but I got the mini size because I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. But this is the Sol de Janeiro, the very popular bum bum cream, the Brazilian bum bum cream. That's what it looks like. I did just get the mini one. I got it when it was on sale. This is really good. I see the hype behind it because it's a really, really good nourishing body lotion and it smells so good. It really does. It's a, such a unique scent. I feel like there's not, there's not much else that smells like this. I feel like they can try and make things that will be similar. I'm just going to put some on my shoulders here. It's not sticky and I feel like it dries down like really quick because you know when you put on some body lotions or like a body butter and it just you you just stay sticky for hours this doesn't do that it sinks right into the skin but you can you still feel hydrated and moisturized if you could smell through the screen i smell great right now just wish it wasn't so expensive like this tiny thing was like 15 pound for that but to be fair a little bit does go a long way so i feel like it will last a while so yeah i feel like the scent is an essential to be honest like 
Like, yeah, that's the thing. I wouldn't use it all year round, especially living in the UK. I feel like maybe if I lived somewhere like, where it was literally just summer all the time, then fair enough, but it's definitely just like a summer scent for me. Okay, moving away from like body kind of stuff. Um, I've just got makeup stuff to be honest. This I'm just gonna breeze over very quickly because I've been talking about this so much you're probably sick of it by now. But this is the iconic London Radiance Booster. This one is in the shade Sand Glow. That's the one I use. It's basically just to use underneath your foundation to give it an extra glow or just as a very glowy foundation. I, I'm obsessed with it. I've talked about it enough. It just evens up my skin tone really nicely. They have a bunch of different shades like I said. And yeah, it just gives you a super, super nice glow. It just looks like your skin as well. So I feel like this is the perfect thing. I feel like if you're just gonna be by the pool, my tummy is rumbling. I feel like if you're just gonna be by the pool or you just want something very, very thin, just to give your skin a bit of, a bit of color. Okay, lip products. I've just got two here and then I've got setting sprays and then we are done. So I've got two kind of different things here. So for lip products, I've got a tinted lip balm. This is the Elle Fried or Die Lip Balm. This is specifically the peach one. This is the one I feel like is perfect for summer. This seems to be the one that I always put on when I go to the beach. Like now it's summer, I've got this back out. Don't usually use this. I prefer using a different one when it's like autumn, winter. But this one is literally the peach shade and they're all tinted. They do do the clear one as well, which I absolutely love but the Elf Ride or Die formula is so good. They have loads of different shades if you're not into this one. I feel like this is perfect because if you're not wearing a full face of makeup, you just come to the beach. I feel like this is perfect because it's just got a tint, but it's also got lip balm. It, like it's a lip balm as well. Also, Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oil because these ones stain as well. So I feel like if you're at the beach, you don't want to keep reapplying stuff. Um, so I feel like specifically because these are so hydrating they're like a serum and because it actually stains your lips i feel like this is really good for like a long day out because you're just gonna have something on your lips at least maybe actually some of you can help if anyone knows any good um lip balms that i've got sunscreen in that is what i need i don't really have any i tried a bondi sans one and it's one of those ones where when that gets in your mouth you it tastes like poison you know the, the lip balms you can taste so i don't like the bondi sans one um, so yeah, if anyone's got any good lip balm recommendations that I've got sunscreen in, let me know. Setting sprays, I've got two different options because I feel like we, you need a bit of both. So if you want your makeup to stay on your face for six million years, this is the one. This is the Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace, I think. I can never read the fancy writing on here. I don't know if it's, must be, must be. That's the only thing that makes sense. This is hairspray in a bottle. Like your makeup's not budging, that is it. And I love that it's an aerosol mist as well. Very, very solid set and spray. It's not gonna budge or transfer with this for sure. And then if you want something that's just gonna give you a nice glow, I definitely say this. This is the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Spray. I also like this one because it's 4-in-1, so I guess you can use it as just like a refresher, a primer, set and spray, and it's 4-in-1. What's the other one? That's three, so primer, refresher mist and then setting spray i wonder what the other fourth thing is maybe like skincare like a serum thing i don't know but anyway this definitely definitely gives you a really really nice glow perfect for summer and again the mister oh i love that i love a good all right guys that is it that is it for my summer essentials like i said let me know if you know any good um spf lip balms because we need some over here. Um, but yeah, that is it for my video. So let me know what you think of any of these, if you tried any, what your summer essentials are, anything else you would recommend for me to add into my little collection here. But yeah, that is it for the video. So thank you for joining me as always, and I'll see you in my next video.